Hello, my name is Artemis, and it seems to me that I give out two pieces of, I don't know, advice and two quotes and two ideologies, whatever you want to call them, a lot. And those two ideologies or whatever are people are dicks and always be yourself. And it kind of dawned on me that maybe those two things don't mix together all that well and maybe they're a bit contradictory and maybe if you are a dick you shouldn't really strive to be yourself but maybe you should and you're not actually a dick underneath i don't know but either way we're going to talk about that because it's all well and good to be yourself unless of course you're a dick now, obviously, these two pieces of advice are exactly true. Oh, no, one of them's not exactly advice. It's just a statement, which is also exactly true. People are dicks. We all know people can be terrible, can be awful, and in general, act that way as well. They're fucking assholes. We don't like assholes. Assholes are bad, unless you like eating ass, which... I mean, look at the audience I'm talking to, of course you do. But whatever, people are dicks and that is a universal truth that we deal with on a daily basis. As well as that, yes, the advice of being yourself is the good advice, it is correct advice. You should always strive to be yourself. It's the way that you can live your life authentically and find people that are right for you and right for your life, your tribe, your people, the people that will bring the most to your life. This is very fucking true, both of them are, but they are conflicting terms. After all, if you are a dick, if you are an asshole, an abuser, a narcissist, then the worst thing you can be told is BE YOURSELF! No! Don't! Or actually, maybe do, because essentially being an abuser and being a narcissist, these are things that you are doing, and these are actions, but they're not at the very core who you really are, because that's buried underneath trauma and unhealed anger issues and a lot of shit in your past that needs to be worked on, and Maybe being yourself is actually what you should be doing. The problem is, you're not entirely sure who you are. Huh. Maybe we thought of something important there that we might talk about in the rest of the video. Who knows? Let's find out. Now, it's hard to sort of go more than five minutes on the internet these days without some faux therapist spouting off these little quotes and lines and psychological viewpoints that we all like to apply to our own lives. You can find quotes all over the place, typically with some piano riff stolen from some guy who's never going to get the credit, with some sort of foresty background that clearly an AI bot is generating and making someone money off the views. It is all just the same old, yes, look, there's some analytic crap that you can easily apply to yourself because secretly it applies to everybody and it's so easy to fucking find that shit with all of this advice and sometimes it's useful let's be honest sometimes these things are very useful framing devices to figure out what exactly is going on with you at the moment and what some of the causes may be but they don't all apply and they don't all matter and they're not actually all correct okay the sources aren't exactly sourcing that well so when it comes down to certain people you so you have to start to realise that it ain't for you. For instance, let's give you an example. Let's say, for instance, that we have something saying, you are doing everything right. You are okay. You are the perfect person. Now, clearly, nobody is the perfect person. We all have things to work on. Nobody's perfect. But also, if you have someone who is an abuser, who is a narcissist, who is acting very toxically to people, who basically has a lot of unhealed pent-up trauma and anger issues that they are exacting on other people because they haven't reconciled it within themselves, the worst thing you can really say to them is that, yes, your actions are justified. They are correct. You're just reinforcing this whole negative behavior and unfortunately this is what a lot of people tend to do because if you are acting a certain kind of way that other people are reacting negatively to you're clearly going to gravitate towards something that enables you that tells you no it's okay darling tearing apart someone else's life is okay because you're the real person that's here you're the real victim you're the real one that needs coddling and being okay and clearly it's fucking dangerous clearly it's damaging and building this echo chamber around yourself just makes you into more of a cunt and let's be honest you're not not underneath it all not when everything is said and done and healed most people by and large aren't and this is just standing in the way of getting you to not being a cunt. So there was a line that I saw online, some tweet, some quote, some thing somewhere that basically went along the line of the worst person you know, the person who inflicted all this trauma and abused you, is currently sat in therapy being told you are enough. And of course, instantly you're going to think about an example and a person and you're going to think, no, they shouldn't feel that way. They're bastards. They're treating me like shit. They're cunts. They're abusers. They're toxic. They're horrible. How dare they? No. And it's very natural to feel that way. You're very justified in feeling that way. But it's not the truth because the point that I saw, the counterpoint to this was 
maybe if they'd been told that they were enough from an earlier age, they never would have become the person that did those things to you. And it's not about forgiving. It's not about letting go. It's not about saying, oh, actually, it's okay because you're a victim too. No, you're fucking justified in how you feel, okay? And it's not your responsibility to do the work for someone else. It's not your responsibility to forgive when you can't forgive, to let go when you can't let go. This is things that you do for yourself, not for fucking other people, okay? So don't get that twisted. But there is something to be said about the journey. There is something to be said about the fact that some people just aren't as far along it as they should be. Or, you know, the time that you met them, they were acting out of anger, out of fear, out of previous experiences. And it wasn't fair on you, but it doesn't mean that they're not deserving of the help that they need to not be that person anymore. And holding on to this guilt, holding on to this grudge, it's very easy, but it's, it's like swallowing poison and expecting the other person to die from it. It's not going to do you any good. And as much as this spike can stick around for a long time, ultimately, everybody deserves a chance to heal. Everybody deserves a chance to do better and be better. Everybody deserves to wake up every day and choose to be a better person. Their actions don't change because of it, but their future might. And that's the only thing that we can affect right now, because the past is set in stone. Well, here we are again. We've arrived at another conclusion of you should just figure out who you are, but it is the truth. And these kind of things are basically examples where you can figure out, oh, this isn't who I want to be. This isn't who I truly am. I'm acting this way because of X, Y, and Z, but I don't want to be controlled by X, Y, and Z. This isn't right. I don't want to be this. And it does come down to figuring out what you want to be and what you want to portray, how you want to be seen, how you want to act, how you want to be known. And that's a big part of figuring out who you are. It's a big part of living your life a certain way because, you know, what you think becomes your reality. And if you think of yourself, well, that's not me. I'm not going to be that. I don't want to be that. You will stop allowing yourself to be that. You will make the steps, make the changes. And this is one of the ways that it happens. And falling into this trap of being enabled and being supported down the wrong path is a dangerous way that leads you to being something that you're not. I mean, at the end of the day, be yourself unless you're a dick is the truest kind of fucking advice because if you won't tolerate this behavior on other people and you don't like other people that show these examples and these behaviors then why do you want to be that yourself why do you tolerate that in yourself you don't have to you don't have to be these things you can always choose to be better and situations like this is how you can recognize oh i want to choose to be better i don't want to be these things so don't just don't. It's, I, I, I suppose I'm making it out as if it's a lot easier than it actually is, but I mean, maybe don't be a dick. Let's try that for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this sort of made sense. It was a random fucking point for me to make off of basically one quote that I saw. But yeah, I mean, it, it, you should be yourself unless you're a dick. And I see so many people using all of this advice to sort of work on themselves and become someone better and it's very good. But also I'm like, Maybe you're misusing that. Maybe you're applying that in the wrong way. Maybe this advice didn't actually refer to you specifically. Maybe you shouldn't be doing these things. And I mean, it's good that you're still looking to do the work. It's good that you're still looking to progress and move forward and be a better person. But also, like, you should be going that way and you're going this way. No, you don't need to worry about that shit. Worry about that shit over there. Go fix that first. But uh, I hope it all made sense, and let me know what you think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments that I'm maybe both. Who knows? Let's find out. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see a massive shift in tone, then maybe check out some of the ways you can support me, such as seeing feet pictures. Always funny to me that I fucking advertise that after serious videos. Always fucking funny. I have no class. I have no fucking taste. I don't fucking care. I'm too poor to have morals. That's why I also do merchandise, because there is merchandise available. Get yourself a shirt, get yourself a cushion, get yourself something nice with my face on it, because that would be fucking cool. And there is, of course, the Patreon, which is a good way to support, which is a good way to see exclusive content and have just more me in your life. And surely that's tolerable. Yeah, I know I should be selling this harder, but ugh, it's hard to prostitute yourself sometimes. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and I guess I'll see you all next week. Bye.